Hey Scorpio, it's Robin Carlion from Robin's Authentic Wellness and this is your 2020 reading for February. And it is amazing. This is all about new opportunities. This is about new creation um, and leaving the old behind. So oh, I love it. I am Scorpio. So I am absolutely, I just love it. And I'm so excited about this month because I know I'm going to rock this month. And um, I hope you have that knowing that you are going to rock this month as well. So as in true traditional style, um, our my guides have picked the death card to start off our month of February. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm not sure how everyone's January was. For me, it was a great month. Um, I did a lot of manifesting. I did a lot of manifesting and I achieved the goals that I set out to achieve. Um, and there were some monetary goals that I had and I did achieve those. Um, this month, um, I have a lot of new things that I'm gonna be putting out there for my business. Um, in all areas, there's a lot of new creation happening. So no matter what area it is, if it's business, if it's health, if it's um, uh, wellness, like you're um, eating better, um, adding some exercise into your your routine. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Uh oh. Ah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> February for Scorpio is. Um, new beginnings. So there's an end of a cycle. So I do feel that in January, there was some overlay that was coming from 2019 that we were finishing up that we were um, tying up loose ends. And we were really putting forth, you know, okay, what do I want to manifest? What do I want for 2020? And I think that um, is what a lot of Scorpios were doing for uh, for January was what is this year going to be for me? What am I going to put forth? Um, what am I going to create for myself? Who, who am I going, who am I and who am I going to become? And I really feel like this is a huge transformation for Scorpio. We are all about transformation. We're all about, um, endings and new beginnings. And that does show up again um, in here. We have the uh, Six of Swords. Actually, what I'll do, um, we know that the first card is, so usually how I do it is I choose a card kind of for the week. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that. So this one would be like the first week of February, uh, which makes sense. We're coming into a new month. There's an old cycle that has ended and we're starting anew. Then we have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, that's a lot of thinking energy, and Ace of Wands, new opportunity, and it's fire energy. Oh my goodness, yay, I love it. Strength, so this is, uh, we're all about strength. We're all about standing on our own two feet and really pulling through um, and pushing towards what we're what we're work, working for. The fool. So this is some manifesting energy, curiosity, curiosity about um, what what we want to manifest, what we want for ourselves. So really, that thinking energy that we have. Um, what do we want? We are going to reassess and we are going to, uh, with this thinking energy, um, we are going to reassess and we are going to make sure that we are shedding what no longer serves us and we are moving away from the energy that uh, is not resonating with us and it's not working for us. And again, like we're all about transformation, rebirth, um, ending the cycle and we are we are uh, like tweaking, tweaking throughout the month. Um, 
what's working and what's not and really being decisive about our choices and really being choosy, being really choosy about what energy we want to be in, what friends we want to have. Um, cause I know I am, I am extremely choosy about the energies that I have around me. Um, I, I resonate well, um, with people that are like me, like, loyal and honest um king of wands so ending off so oh okay so oh my goodness yay all right so i didn't i did realize this at the beginning but i'm realizing it again um so this is how i've chosen these cards the ace of wands is like the fourth week of february and then the clarifying card is the king of wands so there's that fire energy that's that go getting energy that's that new beginning so um for the clarifying card for the third week we've got that thinking energy and we have that okay you know what that didn't resonate with us and then that follows with the ace of wands the new beginning energy that fire energy like yes i know what direction i'm going in and i'm going for it and i'm going all in with that fire energy i love it oh my goodness i love this energy that is so, so cool. Um, so the Queen of Swords, she's all about like strength, which we are. And here we go, strength. Um, strength and our perception, our perception of things, um, how we perceive uh, our situation, how we perceive um, where we're going. And it, it's that thinking energy where we have the queen and the page of swords. So there's a lot of that manifesting energy. We're really thinking um, where we want to go. And I think it's a, like a, it's, it's a good thinking energy. It's not thinking like you're overthinking. I know that Scorpio can overthink. Um, it depends on like where you are in your Scorpio energy because you know we there's like different spectrums there's like the really positive good and then there's some Scorpios that um you know have to kind of uh flow through and get out of the kind of the negative negative energy like uh no jealousy no jealousy no envy um I don't feel that though I don't feel that at all I feel that it's a lot of clear uh, clear minds, clear mindedness. Um, we're ending that cycle. We're really manifesting. Okay. This is what I want to happen for February. This is what I want to be going into the rest of the year. Like, um, when you're manifesting, like you may have an idea of what you're working on. Um, whether you are working for a company, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether this is um, like a life choice, um, whatever it is, maybe you're traveling, maybe uh, it's going to be like new relationships, new friendships, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of really good, clear thinking. It's like that stable energy thinking. Um, And balance, like that strength, that balance, like we really know what, what we want. What we want is that exciting new beginning. I love it. I absolutely love this. This is, um, I love this reading for myself uh, because I know that I have um, a lot of things that I'm starting anew. I'm tweaking and uh reforming um things that uh i had before so you know if something it's not that it's not working you just want to make it more appealing um and yeah so that is what i'm doing but all about that great thinking energy scorpio um that fire energy that new beginning um really resonating and realizing what you need to shed uh people places things um and it's just it's great it's absolutely great fire energy you're ready to go by the end of the month you're ready to go um so i i know that 
is going to be a great, great month for you. If you have any questions, any comments, please post below. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my page. And I do have a special on for a more personalized reading because this is a general reading for Scorpio. If you would like a more personalized reading or a personal reading, uh, I do have a special on, it's 20% off and I do my readings live. So I do them on Messenger or I do them on Zoom. So I can give you all the information for that. Um, but please contact me, I'll have my links below. And let me know, but have a fabulous February Scorpio. It's going to be absolutely transformational and lots of manifesting, lots of new beginnings, um, and allow that cycle to end and allow the shedding and the feeling that something's not resonating with you, let it go. We're all about that. If you're Scorpios, we all know that, let that go. Um, so if you're looking for a kind of like a yes answer, if you have like questions, that's your yes. That's your yes. If you were questioning something, if you're kind of like flip flopping on something, that is your yes. Yes, let it go, it's not working for you. Um, this is our journey and this is your journey and your individual journey on your life here and it's all about you um, and not letting other people influence um, we have huge hearts um, lots of compassion but make sure you are sending out that unconditional love that's not attached to anyone or anything just that unconditional unity love send that out raise your vibration um good quality energy is going to come to you and yeah have an amazing fabulous february thank you so much scorpio for watching please like share and subscribe um i truly wholeheartedly appreciate it thank you so much have a great february